With the opioid crisis ongoing, health officials are recommending people add an overdose reversal drug to their first aid kits. And tonight we're hearing from one person who says having that drug on hand led to him saving someone's life. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has the story. That's new at 6. Kim? Well, like in Caroline, naloxone or Narcan, as it's commonly known, is available over the counter without a prescription at pharmacies across Rhode Island. And now health officials and advocates are encouraging everyone to carry it, saying it could very well be the difference between life and death. Visit your local CVS pharmacy and you might see a sign like this saying the overdose drug naloxone is just like a first aid kit. You'd never intend to use it, but should consider having it on hand. We know that it saves lives. We've proven that it saves lives. Naloxone is available without a prescription at pharmacies statewide in two forms, a $95 nasal mist and a $38 injectable, both covered by most forms of insurance. CVS pharmacist Jeremy Blaze says they've seen more people coming in asking for it in recent years. So if somebody's having a Heart attack, you need an AED. If someone's having an allergic reaction, you need an EpiPen. Um, most of these people, if they're having an overdose, most likely won't make it until an ambulance gets to them. Uh, there she was on her knees, face down underneath the, uh, the sink. Dennis Baylor of Providence's Project Weber Renew knows how crucial naloxone can be. He found a woman overdosing in one of the organization's bathrooms in January. She was turning blue, struggling to breathe. He called 911 and sprang into action. Gave her a dose of Nalcan. Uh, she was still unresponsive. Uh, at that point, I, gave, I administered a second dose of Nalcan. Uh, again, gave her the sternum rub and thankfully, uh, she, she revived from those two doses. Things worked out in her favor, fortunately. But if it weren't for the fact that we were able to, that, she, that I was able to access Narcan, it's tough to say what the outcome may have been. And Blaze says, like all pharmaceutical transactions, asking for Narcan is completely confidential. He says it's not just for folks who have addiction problems either, but he says it's also for people who are taking prescribed opioid medication who might be at risk for accidentally taking too much. You can find more information right now on our website, WPRI.com. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.